it's very hard, um, it's really hard to shop, you know what I mean? Like, this is one of the problems about being my size. It's hard to shop, you know what I mean? I'm looking around, you're a good looking crowd. I don't know if you know this. But all clothing for big women, I don't know if you know this, for some reason is decorated with balloons <laughs> and puppies. Do you see that? <laughs> That's your punishment for eating ice cream. Do you see that? They're like, yeah, have fun. You can live in 1987 every day. Have fun. It's a little mean. <laughs> and there's a lot of bedazzling going on. There's a lot of sequins in my stores. I'm like, really? Do you think I need sequins? Seriously? You can't see me coming? Seriously? <laughs> come on. Come on, everybody. I'm overweight. I'm not a country singer. Calm down. What the <laughs> Seriously? It's creepy. And I gotta tell you too, this is another one. Um, the lingerie, oh God. And you always hear, that women always wanna have bigger boobs, okay? Seriously, girls, stick with the little tiny bras that you get to wear, honestly, right? It's like, what are they made, a Kleenex? You wear them once, throw them away. Do you know what I mean, honestly? At my, I'm telling you, at my size, my bras at this point are pretty much vests of beige metal at this point. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm serious. It's a contraption. I'm not gonna lie to you. Takes two people to get it on, which is awkward because I live alone. So that's weird. That's weird. Although it's a nice way to meet the neighbors. I'll tell you that much, right? <laughs> Deborah from upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I have to move. Um, but it's upsetting. And then you go in too, and I, you have to have a bra fitting done, according to Oprah, and she doesn't lie. So I, I, I have you ever had a bra fitting? This, this is what it is if you've never done it before, ladies. You go into a bra shop, right? and there's usually a little, uh, little European woman waiting for you, God bless, and she takes you behind a curtain, takes her shirt off, and then she gropes you. And that, that's the whole appointment. There it is, right there, that's it. So now I go in every Thursday, around 2.30. Every Thursday, around 2.30. <laughs> Unless I have lunch plans, but that's it. So I go in, I have this bra fitting done, right? And the woman tells me that my real bra size is G42. <laughs> is that a bra or is that f***ing bingo? Which is it, seriously? <laughs> Four corners, it's weird, all right? G42, I'm like, I think I just sunk your battleship. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. That is strange stuff. And I also too, seriously, at this size, I get weird guys hitting on me. I really do, I get weirdos. I think that weirdos think they have a chance with me. And here's my message to the weirdos. You don't, okay? You really don't. I might hate myself, but I hate you more. Yes, I do. Weirdos, oh my, seriously? Sometimes the dudes, oh my God, I had a man come up to me after a show. You can't even make this up, all right? I'm just standing around in my business staring, you know? He comes up to me, he sidled up to me. I'm pretty sure it was a sidle. So he comes up to me and I see it. He's been working on a line, you know, his moment that he's gonna come up, leans into me and says, so, I don't have a problem with big women. That was his line of seduction. I don't have a problem with big women. I'm like, really? <laughs> Cause you're gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would run if I were you, little man. Are you kidding? Strange stuff. And I also too, I get older men. Uh, but when I say older, like I mean above the age of 85. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> those are my men. Any man that's been in a world war likes me. Do you understand? Cause those are the old dudes that look at me and think she would survive a depression. You know, they come in. 